Hi, Candace. Good morning. Hi, Dr. Geller. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's my pleasure. Now, what is hypothyroidism? Well, hypothyroidism is a medical condition where the thyroid gland, which is a small gland on the front of our neck here, uh, starts to fail, actually. And what happens when the thyroid gland fails is patients have a lot of bad symptoms, including fatigue, they may have memory impairment, they may feel cold and sluggish, they can start gaining weight for unexplained reasons. A lot of patients experience constipation, and they may also notice changes in their skin, getting dry, their hair more brittle, and their nails as well. Are there any other symptoms that we need to look out for? Um, there are other symptoms. Some people tend to get swelling in their feet or puffiness in their hands. Um, they may notice uh, even a yellow discoloration in their hands and thinning of the eyebrows. These are some other um, symptoms that we sometimes see with hypothyroidism. And who is most at risk for this condition? Well, this condition is definitely uh, higher in women. It's about eight or ten times higher in women than men. It's more common in Caucasians. It's more common in patients who have family members with hypothyroidism. Uh, it's certainly common in people that have had radiation for cancer to their head or neck area because that can damage the thyroid. And then, of course, in people that have had their thyroid removed surgically are at risk for developing hypothyroidism. And how can you conduct a simple at-home neck check? Well, the neck check is a great test, not for hypothyroidism, but really for thyroid nodules and thyroid cancer. And it's important that people understand the difference because hypothyroidism is diagnosed by a physician using a simple blood test that we get back in about a day. The neck check is really a test to screen for thyroid nodules. And the way this is done, it's really quite simple. Uh, you sit down in front of a mirror with a glass of water and you take a sip of water and hold it in your mouth and then gently just rest your fingers on your neck here right above your collarbone. And as you swallow, the thyroid gland will rise up and down under your hands. And you can feel for any nodules, lumps, or irregularities in the thyroid gland. If somebody out there does this test and they feel something irregular or they're just not sure, they should make an appointment, see their doctor. The doctor can examine their thyroid or even order an ultrasound, which is a really simple test, but gives us a wealth of information about the thyroid. And what are management options? Well, the management options for hypothyroidism are to take thyroid hormone, which is a pill. It's very simple to take. It's typically a once-a-day pill taken in the morning, and it's usually a lifelong commitment. So it's not a difficult thing to treat, but it definitely requires great communication between the patient and their doctor so that patients get followed up, they get tested appropriately, make sure that you, know, you let your doctor know of any other medications you're taking or if you've had any other new health conditions because all this goes into the dose that we determine to help keep your thyroid in the normal range. And do you have any additional information like to share with us? I certainly do. We have a great resource that I'm really proud to be a part of. It's called followthescriptcampaign.com. And on that site, not only is there a ton of information about hypothyroidism that I just mentioned, there are checklists that patients can do at home to check boxes and see if they have these symptoms and bring this to their doctor, along with a script actually tells a patient how to communicate with your doctor about hypothyroidism to make sure that you're getting tested for it if it's appropriate and treated for it. There's also videos from real patients who have hypothyroidism sharing their story, how they were diagnosed, how they're being managed, and how they're doing on thyroid hormone. And there's also a video of the neck check that I just discussed. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Geller. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to speak with me today. Have a great afternoon. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Bye-bye.